it is not a centralized it is a form of greeting Quenu mm. means agree Aye. or say agree as in, are you dear can you people hear me are, yeah. are you people understand Igbo Quenu yeah Quenu Quenu and they'll say eh. you see that it is not just one person DJ <coughs> Do I say Igbo Kwenu and say Yoruba Kwenu and say uh, uh, Ido Kwenu, Amambra Kwenu, Lagos Kwenu? <laughs> anyway, it's all just fun by people. My name is DJ Paco Rich. And um, you're welcome to the channel. Today happens to be a bright and wonderful Tuesday right here. And like we do it every Tuesday with my lovely sister Queen Sprite. She's also on YouTube doing great, amazing content there about relationship. She's a life coach. She has so much in-depth knowledge when it comes to relationship and about life. So today I have my sister here. I think yesterday I would like to apologize to those who are offended. Um, yesterday we chopped 33,000 subscribers and I felt that my Nigerian fans have contributed so much to this success. So I made a post and I started with Igbo Kwenu, which from my point of view, I have been hearing it in a lot of Nigerian movies. So in my mind, I think it's a general greetings for the entire Nigerian country. So a few you know fans were upset were not happy were not too cool about me only greeting the Igbos in nigeria which sincerely i'm sorry i didn't know it was a greetings for a section of people well i believe greeting is an effective tool that every man needs to use and it helps so well that if you're going to a direction and sometimes you refuse to greet, there might be danger ahead of you. And the person sitting there will refuse to tell you whether to go or to stop. So, I decided to get closer to my co-producer, co-founder of this channel. Today, I'm going to explain certain things to you. A lot of you keep telling me, and you are Ghanaian, and you are always talking about Nigerians. You are doing a lot of Nigerian content. Yes, I have two channels. But this particular channel, I run it with a Nigerian sister. Her name is Queen Sprite. She, she's actually the brains, and she uh, screens most of the content that we put on this channel. And we understand what we are doing because we want to build a better Africa, a unified Africa, and bring the old ones out. So in times of you getting hurt by another YouTuber somewhere, you don't bring your anger to us. But you come here and we educate you about love. If where you came from, all that they taught you or fed you was hatred. Anyway, by the way, let me introduce my sister onto the scene and let me say a very good morning to her queen how are you doing i'm good dj um I'm so good. what's the best way to greet you so that i don't um felt in a native way do i say <laughs> <laughs> okay um Ibukwenu is actually not a greeting for a single person okay Igbo is a tribe okay Igbo is a tribe okay. okay so before i start that i will want to, to let you know that we have tribes in nigeria okay okay we just call them ethnic groups yeah Though we have three major tribes the Igbo, the hausa the yoruba and fulani okay yeah. so the basic ones Igbo, hausa yoruba mm. now Igbo is a tribe that we have so many other tribes smaller tribes like ethnic groups in nigeria mm. okay so when you hear Igbo, we are talking about you know i told you earlier that nigeria we have 36 states yes okay do you know there are some states that have different tribes 
mm. within one particular state mm. yes so mm. for instance if you go to um um southwest the yoruba like para states lagos states the ogun the ondo the osho the ekiti and also part of uh, kogi mm. yes part of kogi are yorubas part of kogi is a yorubas and all these people, other people like para the osho the lagos the ogun the, the oyo they are the core yorubas Hmm. Okay, now when you are talking about the houses, when you go to states like Bauchi, state like Bolu, you go to state hmm. like um, Jigawa, you go to state like Kadun, you go to state like Kasena, Kano, you go to state like Zamfara, hmm. I get Niger, yeah. Niger states, and you go to state like Taraba and Sakoto. Mm. These are called northerners. These are called houses. Mm. Meanwhile, there are also tr other tribes within them. Aye. But they are majorly their houses, yes. Yeah. Now, for the Igbos, the Igbos are mainly in southeastern part of Nigeria, like mm. the Abia state, the Imo state, the Anambra state, yeah. the Ebony state, the uh, Enugu mm. state, mm. and part of rivers part mm. of river states and again part of benue states mm. not all benue people are Igbos. there are benue people some are Igbos, some are different tribes many tribes in mm. that same benue just mm. like us rivers they have Igbo people tribe and they have other tribes are you getting my point now I get when it. you now go to states like <coughs> delta yeah. Igbos are also in delta states Mm. then in delta we also have the isokos in delta we have the urobos in mm. delta you mm. understand we have the ishekiris mm. delta now if you go to um states that we call bayelsa state in bayelsa we have the ajors mm. we have mm. the uh, yes in bayelsa now izondo Izon, izondo some call it izonjo i don't know is also in Bayelsa. We have them, this is Onjo people in Bayelsa. We have them, in, which is also a Yoruba um, land. You understand? It's mostly Yoruba, but we also have these people there. We also have some of them in rivers. Mm. Some of them in Delta. Mm. Now, if you go to the state called Bauchi, you said I have the, the, we call them the Jeku people. We yeah. also have the Jerus in Taraba. Are you getting me? Now, yeah. if you go to Bauchi, Benue, you have what we call the Jukun. Mm. In Cross Reef, we have the tribe that we call the Adum, the Ekom, the Adim. Then we have the Abua people from rivers. Yeah. Are you getting my point? Yes. Now, if you go to Benue, we have the, we have the Idomas in Benue State. We have the Egalas mm. in Benue State. We have the Jedde people in Benue State. Mm. We we also have this Idoma people in Taraba. Are you getting me? When yeah. you go to Kaduna, that you have houses, you also have the Jabba. Mm. Also, so there are people we call the Nuri people. Nuri people are not. Kanuri is another from Hausa. Mm. They are also side Hausa, Hausa speaking territories yeah. like the Kaduna, the Adamawa, the Boom the Kano, the Niger, the Jigawa, Plateau, and the rest of them. Yeah. So what I'm saying is we have so many tribes. We have about 370 something tribes mm. in Nigeria. So mm. it will not be safe for you to say, you know, I see. a lot of people consuming your content who are Nigerians may not be only Igbos. Mm. Are you getting me? We have a lot of them from major from Ida, you know yeah. Calabari and the rest of them. Yeah. So now I'm coming down to Ibokwenu. Ibokwenu is at uh, a language for Estibo people in okay. the gathering. <clears throat> okay. For instance, if you channel this, maybe you are having a discussion yeah. and you are narrowing it down to the Ibos. It is a form of greeting. Mm. It is not a centralized, it is a form of greeting. Quenu mm. means agree. Aye. Or say, agree as in, are you there? Can you people hear me? 
Are, yeah. are you people understand Igbo Kwenu? Yeah. Kwenu. Bueno. Kwenu. And they will say, eh. You see that it is not just one person. Okay. You talk before, to a group before, of Igbos. Before, before you continue, I also want to chip in this so that other people who also would want to know what we have on the other side would also understand. Like you are saying, the reason why I said this is that in Ghana we also have a greetings that we normally have among the Akans even though we have a lot of tribes mm -hmm. also in Ghana that we call Ebusunya mm -hmm. Wonfre ye then the audience will mm -hmm. also re respond ye mbra Ebusunya Wonfre ye and they will say ye mbra Ebusunya Wonfre ye simply means that people that have gathered they should call for mm -hmm. something meaningful Ebusunya Wonfre ye you understand mm. then they will also say okay we call for good things we call for greatness you understand so okay. in my view mm. singing that in a lot of nigerian movies i automatically translated it to be our kind of greeting we call a busia one fray meaning the entire family we call good mm. things upon you and they will also respond okay we receive good things on our behalf so that is where the mistake came from because i did a direct translation yeah. so other people yeah, in nigeria as well to, other people in nigeria like yeah other people in nigeria so sometimes when you come to ghana and you also meet a group of people gathered and you want to greet them for us it's okay to tell everybody it doesn't matter the tribe is coming from that Ebusia won't free mm. you, and they will respond yeah bra so now you can continue with what okay. you were saying uh, okay uh, so uh that is for the ebos i guess yeah. so there's yeah. so many some people can even say um they won't know you understand like yeah. they won't know uh, they won't know you know when you say Igbo queen Igbo queen is more of official yeah you understand but most times i'm saying they won't know like when you are trying to greet people they won't know is just like hello yeah. you understand hello yeah in nigeria we don't some of our languages does not really have a direct um translation for hello I yeah, guess yeah so now depending on the language which you are speaking you can just say Nde wenu, ken ken emeo, just for the ebos yeah. yeah. how are you doing and yeah. that kind of a thing for the yeah. ebos yeah i get to me yeah now for yorubas the yorubas can just like tell you like when they want to say ah how are things like bow me yeah i'm not yoruba i get to me yeah. for the purpose of this video yeah i understand <laughs> i'm not yoruba and i'm not house you understand i'm yeah. also from a different tribe yeah okay. however because i'm a nigerian and i believe i'm one nigeria yeah we tend to just grab some terms yeah. from our sister tribes or yeah. another kind of a thing yeah. so I, I stay in lagos so sometimes we get information or maybe people greeting you so i know very well that when someone say baoni i get now just say yeah. dj baoni yeah mean dj how are things yeah i can also say ah kilon shele dj kilon mm. shele meaning what is happening yeah i can also say dj ah are you good you know that yeah. kind of thing i would yeah. just say uh dj show a dada show a dada yeah. so when you say bow knee say show a dada you say kilo and shelle it's still yeah. part of asking after somebody yeah are you getting or you can say yeah. a cabo when yeah. maybe let's say someone is coming to you and try, trying to tell the person welcome yeah that you say a cabo you yeah. understand like yeah. me. or you can also say a kule a kule maybe when you meet someone who is already seated and you are coming to meet the person you know that's yoruba now also in yoruba we have yoruba they have their greetings and yeah. the greetings in yoruba they are very very um cautious in terms yeah. of the age difference yeah you know there is this slight difference when you are greeting someone who is of the same age with you and someone who is older than you for instance yeah. if someone is older than you mostly they'll be using this air sound hmm. eh? let's say a car or Oh, okay. i know yorubas they love respect so much say, yeah. Ekaro. Ekaro yeah. means good morning 
you understand the, a car or then i guess morning. that's then for I, Yorubas. then i guess the Yorubas are like the crapping people we have in ghana because the crapping yeah, they, people also they, normally go like me pacho me see they mostly start me me, pacho, me, yeah, yeah exactly, uh, exactly. Uh, crapping people normally start their yeah. statement with please please i beg i beg your mm -hmm. pardon and you and all those kind of stuffs yeah yeah so so when i say a car so like a car so it's good afternoon mm. are you getting me we have a yeah. kale a kale mm. man you see and you know most times they will prostrate as in the obao yeah the Obas love ah yoruba the love in their culture respect is embedded in the cultures of yoruba mm. no matter how you are feeling for the person whether you don't like the person or you don't li you like the person whether the person is abusing you mm. for as long as you just hear them ah e e e e e e mm. you mm. understand e e mm. hey. you know e e e e e e e e e e e e and they are mm. bowing and they are greeting you yeah. you understand e e so um that, that is it for them before age mates most times some will just say e caro however some of them will just say ah kale you understand castle yeah. mm. just like a friendly yeah. way of putting things yeah yeah so except when they're saying like odaro odaro is mostly when someone is telling you good night till mm. morning you understand now in evil language you will see when they want to greet you asege ototoma kachifo kachifo mm. means let the day break meaning good evening hmm. you understand Igbos majorly don't really have that um saying because this person is elder you understand or uh, in their terms the only thing they would just put is like day day you hmm. understand that yeah. that day day is a male male elderly person some use the word tete as a yeah. male elderly person you understand hmm. when they are now conversing we tell me they say they may say um tete ototoma ototoma no day day ebola chi day day there means you are an elderly male figure hmm. ebola chi means have you woken up to a great new day meaning good morning hmm. so hmm. when they now say ebola chi ototoma you understand it yeah. means good morning hmm. Hey. Hmm. so catch is good evening now when you go to um the since, house side. since, since house side, um hold on for me since you are doing the greetings let me also help with the nigerians who also want to know that of ghana um i mean in ghana to say good morning i, would, I know i know i know i know about ghana oh, i know how, how when they talk about the mache that is a mache is good morning in ghana you see, yes right. but there is something interesting among the ghanaian communities we have the ashantis we have the kriapims we have mm -hmm. the okay. uh, the enzimas and all that so there is mm. a little bit of difference in how it's how you know they pronounce it for example the fancy people will go like mama watching mama watching mama watching meaning good mm -hmm. morning but the ashanti people mm. will go like macho you understand mm. which also means good morning there's it's typical yeah. in people will go like Akpekenue. you understand Akpekenue is more like how are you you understand yes mm. uh, and then mm. when you go to when you go to the guy i don't speak guy so i can't risk that because this is an education we're giving people mm -hmm. so i should be very factual with mm -hmm. how i pronounce it so even in the mm -hmm. regions or among the accounts the sound how mm -hmm. the words are pronounced are different from mm -hmm. each mm -hmm. people but there is something after your yeah. submission i would like us to look at the mood of greeting people the postures mm -hmm. and how mm -hmm. You should greet elders both in ghana and nigeria what is ab abnormal when you do or when you greet in that manner when and when not to greet for example in ghana when somebody is going to excuse me to say toilet you don't have to greet the person mm. i don't know mm. if it's the same thing as in nigeria when somebody is going to toilet you don't have to greet the person because there is a natural belief that once you greet the person it might start a conversation meanwhile 
there is a nature call his stomach needs to get to some place and you prolong a conversation and he will end up disgracing himself so in ghana it is not allowed to greet somebody who is going to toilet so for example if you are coming my opposite direction and i'm going the opposite direction and maybe i'm heading towards to a toilet and i pass by you it is no crime it is no offense I can come back and later explain to you that nature had given me a call so I had to quickly go and respond to it before I come back. So these are some of the cultural differences that I think both Ghana and Nigeria have. I don't know if there are other ones from Nigeria that I don't know of. I may not say, for what you just said now, I may not sit here and tell you that it does not exist in nigeria because we have so many cultures in nigeria yeah. like we say diversity in nigeria maybe there are people there are tribes who do the same thing i may yeah. not know yeah. it is possible yeah you understand however from the tribe i'm coming from i've yeah i've not really yeah i've not understood that but the, it may be possible it's me so i will not just come here and say um it happens in ghana it does not happen in nigeria okay Maybe there is a tribe who may also be doing that and also one yeah. more thing i would also want to add up to this conversation is that in ghana when you're greeting the elders and you have a cap on you would have to take off mm. the cap before you greet your elder you can still have a mm. cap on and greet an elder mm. it is not acceptable mm. it is not mm. acceptable but i don't know in nigeria if you're going to greet your elders you can still put your cap on and do that i think it depends on the tribe there okay. are tribes in nigeria like um the Ibus. the Ibus, um mostly if you if you want to greet an elderly person especially a male elder yeah a male figure yeah an elder most times they will remove their cap bow their head and greet the person mm, mm. you understand yeah most of the times especially if they are in an official environment yeah yeah so maybe you and your car you are driving past an elder i i don't think that most of them are while in their car they will remove their car cut uh, their cap and bow i don't know mm. i'm not sure of that no but i do believe that to greet an elderly person in Igbo land in some cases you see them bowing to the person by removing the cap and also bowing their head i get mm. especially to a titled Igbo man mm. because we the Igbos, they they you know they give respect to titled men a lot yeah okay now for the yorubas you sleep prostrate on the floor mm. to greet the person which mostly may be official mm. because you may not see someone on the road and you will just lie flat on the road you yeah know, you dirty your clothes but yeah. there was there is still that court scene I see that court see you see someone bowing down you know that kind of a thing or trying to touch your feet are yeah. you me? but if yeah. it's an uh, environment that is clean and it is a cultural uh, there's a cultural thing going on maybe during marriage surely you have to mm. and pay your obeisance to them pay your respect to them mm. for the houses i may not really you understand i've not really been with house as much to know about their um cultures like that i just see them around you know with greets in passing i've not really been within the core house community mm. to, to their culture. but well, i know that nigerians have respect for elders i mean that's the same here in ghana and there is one thing i would like to say about the houses you know in ghana the northern part of ghana we have a lot of houses and i think with the cultural differences i don't think it's so large because most of the things that i see done in the houses community here in ghana you usually see most of them in nigeria or you hear most of them talking about it respect is more 
common when it comes to these houses, especially when it comes to their elders. That is why sometimes when you disrespect an house elder, the youth will come at you very, very aggressively. So I think these are some of the things we would learn going forward we are going to tackle so many things i think we, we, we're going to look at how naming babies are done in ghana and nigeria going forward we'll be doing um how funerals are coordinated in ghana and nigeria how funerals of kings you know for example yesterday a community in ghana they were instructed to go light out because they were going to bury one king and in ghana mostly when a king dies he's buried at night so okay. all light has to go off so i think there are a series of conversations and education that we are going to do on this channel when it comes to culture between ghana and nigeria so if you're watching this video i would like you to subscribe and also take note of some of these things so that when you happen to find yourself both in ghana and nigeria you don't you know become like me who went to say Bokwen to the entire nigeria which hmm. <laughs> in some other country they would have beheaded me <laughs> and also mm. before we end i think we've done almost about 25 minutes of conversation and we'd like to mm. keep it short yes we'd like to keep it short on this episode for the viewers to also you know um have some space to do other things they want to do but there is one more thing i would like to add and i would like you to add your voice on it um i think in the past a lot of YouTubers from Ghana have had some misunderstanding with a lot of Nigerian viewers and subscribers. For that reason, I don't know how it started, how it became, and you know, but I think it is becoming unhealthy that sometimes you have a Nigerian or you have a Ghanaian that you haven't met normally i see this under so many posts that you 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 have a nigerian coming to call me mumu or banku mm. which i feel mm. in every country respect is a key thing to every country you have to respect anybody mm. regardless the age of the person so i feel yeah. that the fact that some Ghanaian has upset you doesn't mean that every Ghanaian is like that we are different people with different values and how people were brought up you understand so yes. typically in Ghana an elderly person might be lying you would know that he's lying but you are forbidden to tell the elderly in the face that he's lying these are some of the culture values yes we've grown to you know know that these things really doesn't make sense but these are things that we grew up knowing them so i'm pleading with people we on this channel we are promoting and we are growing love and unity there is nothing good in singing ghana and nigeria at each other's neck it doesn't bring anything mm. fruitful and prosperous to us my lady here that i'm speaking with we've been together for quite some time now and we have shared a lot of positive things between us i'm doing well because of her there are other things and informations that she need i also reach out and i also help her on that so being in friends with a Ghanaian and respecting each other or being friends with a nigerian and respecting each other will rather take us far than fighting each other anytime you see people okay. fighting anytime you see Ghanaian and nigerians fighting it's about one being wanting to be superior than the other see even in the bible goliath was a giant david was somebody who was shot but he was able to defeat the person the size of a person doesn't mean the strength sometimes it needs brain power 
so let us not boast ourselves with this and that and this and that let's see ourselves as equal let me not see that oh yeah ghana, ghana did this first so ghana is better than nigeria nigeria did this first and nigeria is better than all these things doesn't make sense and from henceforth anybody that comes to this channel to propagate any negative energy or to insult any any anybody on this channel who will get you blocked regardless you were ghanaian or a nigerian if you want to behave like an animal will direct you to the animal's kingdom to live with them. So many things haven't been right in the past. So many things haven't been right in the past. And we are doing so much, or we're putting so much energy to main things. See, before we can conquer the Western world, who are always imposing things on us, we only have to come together as one force. Divided, we fall. I'm sure you were all taught that in school. You understand? That's true. Ghana and Nigeria yeah. has had so many great moments. There are people, there are children here in Ghana that cannot tell who they are, whether they are Nigerian or a Ghanaian, because they have both parents. Mother is coming from Nigeria. Father is coming from Ghana. Regardless, when a Ghanaian woman and Nigerian man have sex, don't they enjoy? When a Nigerian woman and Ghanaian have sex, don't they enjoy? Is it, a, uh, a, a, is it not allowed? I don't know even how to pronounce these things. You understand? So let's do away with all this pettiness and hatred. And, and, and this person, I don't want to mention any names. Like this person said this thing on this channel. So you are also a Ghanaian. So I'm coming to hate you because of that. How sensible is that? Don't inherit people's enemies. If you are on a channel that they are doing something which you feel it is not healthy and it is not helping you, kindly unsubscribe the channel block it and refuse to watch things from there the other time i was saying things like what you watch plays a very vital role in your head and in your for example most of the nigerian popular words or popular sayings in ghana were all learned through tv and videos I haven't been to Nigeria before, but I've heard the word Oloshi. I have heard, uh, how do you call, uh, 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 how do you call, Mumu. I have heard uh, 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 Okuku. I've heard Amadi Oha. There are so many things we learned, even this greeting that brought all these things. I learned it in movies. So what you are watching has an influence on you. So if you are watching a YouTuber who is not giving you positive energy and positive vibe skip him there are good people out there find what will suit you subscribe and watch and encourage the person don't transfer okay. hatred don't and some people will come and tell you hey all nigerians watching this guy uh, paco is just here to spy on us spying on us. am i working for american security spying on nigeria to do what see when you come to my platform, if I want to do something for Ghanaians, I speak it in my Ghanaian language. And I know the reason why I do that. When I started this channel, we were speaking tree. Yes. I had same Nigerians coming to advise me that, Paco, we need you to communicate in a language that we will all understand. Now I switch and I speak in languages that you can understand. And you still, you, you still feel I'm a traitor? No. I'm a brother from another mother. That is how we address Nigerians when we meet them. Not long ago, I did a production with a, a Nigerian video director. His name is Malex. And we worked on a project for Wari Wari Pekin. He's a Nigerian. I'm a Ghanaian. But that is the best result we ever had. When both countries, we came together. So please stop preaching hatred on YouTube. And for the Ghanaians who are talking down on Nigerians, 
it is nonsense to do that it, it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense regardless our presidents both presidents are, are underperforming but they are good of friends like they are the best of friends yesterday i was telling queen that when i heard that uh, there is a ban from uae i only saw ghana and i think no it wouldn't be complete because wherever nigeria is ghana is wherever ghana is nigeria is if they fail to bring one person there it will become a debate we yeah, are friends i mean when it come to family that have two boys there they'll always be fighting at home but let's join forces that we will fight we will argue at home but when we go out there we'll support each other when we go out there when we go to when we find ourselves in america when we find ourselves in south africa when south africa is kicking strangers out they don't kick only nigerians they kick uh, how do you call both ghana and nigeria and sometimes you see ghana and nigeria becoming one in south africa because now they realize that they are brothers how come when south africa is driving us out ghana and nigeria wants to join force and fight them automatically we are brothers you understand nobody owes nigeria nobody owes ghana now gone were the days when you were born into family now you have the choice to make your own family because people are born into families that nobody in the family is helping them your family is the outsider who is giving you a helping hand who is supporting you not the one that you were born with i can be a ghanian but if a, Ghan a ghanians are not supporting me i can choose to make family from uh -huh. nigeria and if That's nigerian true. is supporting why me why wouldn't i also show them same love that doesn't mean that i'm taking advantage or i'm being a traitor so we've done almost like 36 minutes the rant is too much but my sister if you like to add something up you add it up to the viewers and fans people who always get emotional about this youtubers in ghana and nigeria propagating negativity um dj thank you what you said almost everything yeah. i'm so happy that you you did this and um i also just want to tell people out there i know you nigerians are watching i know you ghanians are watching okay please you all just have to be mature and i know we have a lot of mature people here from the it's a lot of poor there are people here, here and there from one channel to another spamming i'm seeing irrelevant things please if you're ghanaian and you stumble upon a channel that is speaking against your country you can walk away you can you can unsubscribe from the channel if you're a nigerian doing same unsubscribe from the channel go to a healthy channel channel with healthy content that promotes unity amongst africans okay please let us stop pushing people that spread hatred among us there are many channels all they do is to to hit two heads together and cause people to fight on the comment section you see when people do that they are the ones that you're upgrading their channel will grow that is spreading negativity and it is not needed my brother just said it all so i'm encouraging us please kindly help us to grow here we are promoting good content and we are promoting unity amongst us thank you so much DJ. thank you my sister it was funny <laughs> yesterday i i had a, a, a buyer and somebody was like you see now he's he's taking our food to <laughs> <laughs> what he can yes, sell food what he can sell so. food to mm. <laughs> so brother don't defeat the chop you know the one funny thing is that you see, see that, Eba, DJ, Eba. DJ don't forget 
See, yeah. don't forget, uh -huh. DJ, don't forget that not everybody handling their cell phone is mature to handle it. Yeah, yeah, I there understand. There are people who are 17 years or 16 <laughs> years old, who are still very young. Yeah. You understand? But, so when they communicate, <laughs> when they comment, you will know. Yeah. So I would just like to just overlook. No, I do, I do overlook, overlook a lot of them. But applaud to some of the discerning viewers who also sometimes um, come down to correct some of their subscribers when they go wayward. I like people like that. That mm. He's a Nigerian, but when a Nigerian comes to say something which is really, really very disrespectful, they come in there to correct. There was a day a Ghanaian came to um, type that he wants to unsubscribe from my channel because black sharif had dropped an album and i haven't done a, a full album review i did only a song review and i asked uh -huh. myself that okay i have done one song other people uh -huh. have done other people have done album my brother kojo sheldon has done an album go and listen to the review uh -huh what's what's the difference you understand we all have different target audience and i mean my core duty is not about the music you understand my core music my core call is not to come and always talk about music 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 no kojo doesn't really do this culture stuff and you know education stuff that we do so can you go there and force kojo sheldon to call Crane's pride and talk to her about nigeria language we we'll have to serve different kinds of audience to different kind of people. You understand? And sometimes it frightens mm. me to even sometimes report certain issues which is coming from Nigeria, which is not good. You understand? Because I feel like once you say anything like that, you'll be tagged as hatred. But maybe it might be a general mm. thing that is affecting us as people because regardless, we have Nigerians living in Ghana, we have Ghanaians, Ghanaians living yeah. in Nigeria. So whatever affects Nigeria affects Ghana. So if something happens in Nigeria and as a vlogger, I want to report it or share my thoughts about it. And it looks like, okay, I'm being a hater. Then it would put some kind of frightening in me not to even talk about these issues but it doesn't help you understand so i think i'm really yeah. grateful for your time we've gone way 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 above our time 42 minutes uh, we've almost done an hour i'm just praying that people can have and the content is great people will really enjoy it so we'll end here we'll come back with another exciting episode Thank you for watching. But Queens, tell them about your channel so that people can go follow you and subscribe. Okay. Um, my channel's name is Queens Pride and I talk about friendship, dating, marriage. I'm a real life counselor. And if you go to my channel, everything there is real. We talk from experience. I'm a married woman mm. and I've been married for a while now. And, mm. um, I think I answer people who, who marry, maybe marry us and the rest of them. Mm. There are lots of issues in marriages. A lot of homes are broken today because people failed to understand certain things. Mm. I just dropped two videos a few mm. days ago. Please, mm. I would love you to go watch them. I talked about the thing you should do if you notice that your husband is cheating on you mm, mm, a lot of people mm, make that mistake yes mm, so mm. told them a lot of things what to mm, do mm, and these are practical solutions mm, mm, towards mm, that mm, okay mm. and also other videos please kindly watch subscribe my channel is still growing i don't know I <laughs> yeah, no, you are you 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 are getting a lot of fans I'm from this end. Passion. Yeah, you are getting a lot of f f uh, uh, fans from this part. So very soon you be you be you be having all the numbers there. I pray, okay. And I'm ready to engage people in proper discussion. Sure. I want sure. people's homes to be saved. I want young men who are about to marry to marry the right person, mm. at least to get it right. And mm. I want our young girls who are still single to get 
it well. You don't just need to mm. jump over there. See, I don't believe in showcasing or showing off mm. your marriage or anything. I just want you to marry properly and marry the right person. Mm. And if you're in a wrong relationship, we have solutions on what to do if you mm. are married and your wife is not giving you proper attention i even mm. talked about why your wife or your friend is not agreeing to kiss you mm. why is as if you are forcing her to kiss you there mm. are there are reasons for that mm. and i had to open up to people your husband your wife may not tell you the truth your girlfriend may not tell you the truth but if you go to my channel you will learn the truth and uh, I'll also be dropping uh, another one in few days' time. Yeah, yeah. So but but I have a particular topic for you. Good. Please please do a research on that, uh, and then do okay. a content on your channel for me. I've I have noticed okay. this thing. I'm experiencing mm. like my son, my son, mm. my mm. son. I suspect he's having an affair with his mother because he's okay. always <laughs> he's he's always competing with me. In certain areas, mm. certain areas, which mm. is making me unhappy, and my 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 <laughs> my 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 other sister is also complaining that the daughter is always with this mm. husband and doing some things with the husband, and then she's mm. jealous. So please work on those two topics for me. Why do that. children, female children, um always why the, why first, the first female children yes the first female the first daughter is always um in, in good terms with their father yes while the first male is always in good terms with the mother yeah. we we'll talk about that yeah they actually see their parents as rivals i mean my son mm. i'm beginning to pack him out of my bedroom i'm going to find another room for him Thank you, people, for watching. <laughs> Share your comments. Let me know where you're Thank watching you from. So much. My name is DJ Parker Rich. All we'll right. do this another time. People, so this has been mm. a very interesting episode with Queen Sprite. We'll come back and do something great. I believe you all enjoyed and took some wisdom out of this video. I love you all. See you later. DJ Parker Rich.